We're spicing up your Thanksgiving Day meal with a new take on old recipes with the help of the Instant Pot. Great Days Christina Cooker gets a taste of the holidays done right. All right, it's a Thanksgiving Day feast with a twist today. I'm here with my good friend, Chef Luke. You've seen him on Great Day before. And my new pal, Chef Jay. How are you doing today? Great. So we're doing like a little collaboration. What are we going to be making today? Okay, so I'm going to be making a sweet potato casserole. And I am going to make a homemade marshmallow cream. Yeah. And I'm going to twist it with my blowtorch. Ooh, with your blowtorch. How about you? I will be doing uh, Instant Pot garlic, parmesan, chive, potatoes, and some Brussels oh, sprouts wow. with bacon and caramelized onion. These are just sweet potatoes. I put them in the oven at 400 and I um, wrapped them in foil and I did that for 45 minutes and I took them out and I, and I peeled them. So I'm gonna add in one fourth cup of maple syrup. Okay. About a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So if you're feeling them, you just want them to be kind of, yeah, I'm gonna, just soft. a little give, a yeah. little soft, okay. And then a, about a one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm also gonna add in some salt and pepper. So what I did for the cream is I actually, I got the, um, I got three egg whites. And I um, put, got them all together and I um, whisked it on a really high um, speed until they got nice and they were cooking. And then after that, I added in the powdered sugar and I would gradually add that in so it doesn't spill everywhere. And then I also would add in the maple syrup and then you want it to peak once again. And then you'll get this nice marshmallow. That's glossy and beautiful. Isn't it? And I'm just going to toast the top. What? And if you don't have a blowtorch, uh, <laughs> you can actually put it on broil, on high broil, for maybe one to two minutes, and that'll give it a nice toasted top. Just in the oven? Yeah. Okay. We're going to add on those walnuts, the toasted walnuts again, and that'll just, you know, help with the garnish, make it nice and pretty. All right, so next on the list is? is I'm going to do the Instant Pot potatoes okay. and then do the Brussels sprouts at the same time. All right, let's do it. And what I did was I cut the potatoes in quarters, and um, these are Yukon Gold potatoes. Uh, it's always good to use a, like a Yukon Gold or a Russet because they come out nice and creamy yeah, yeah. instead of a red potato, which is kind of waxy. Yeah. Then all I did was you can just throw those in the pot, throw them right in the Instant Pot, just like that. Right, so then I take some chicken stock, and you can use um, water, water or whatever yeah. you this want to. This gives a little more flavor, It right? does, it gives it a little more flavor. So they're gonna cook for 14 minutes on steam. Okay. Okay, the more you chop up garlic, the more you break it up and you get the essential oils out of it. Uh -huh. So what we wanna do is we just wanna chop this up, because the more you chop it, the more flavor you get. And then I take this, and I throw it in the Instant Pot with everything else. Okay. Okay, so the beauty of the Instant Pot, like I said, this is gonna take like 14 minutes. Close it up and then hit the steam button, right? And then we're gonna do 14 minutes on steam. It'll pressurize and then it'll be done. What I have now is my Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna take a little bit of oil, put my bacon in here. And I'm not gonna make it crispy. I don't want crispy, crispy bacon. I'm gonna cook it down a little bit. You can't beat these three things, bacon, onion, and garlic. So what I did was, is I cut off the bottoms, yeah. um, and then I quartered them, so that way you have a nice uh, piece of uh, Brussels sprout in there. Take my Brussels, put it in there. I like kind of, I like sautéing them. Mm -hmm. I like my vegetables a little crisp. Yeah. You know, even if there's a little bit of brown on it, that's nice, because that's delicious. All right, so while we're waiting, um, you just have one little last step for the potatoes, and then it's time for our feast. Yes. Your potatoes, when they're done, will come mm. out, and that. pretty much all I did was mash them, oh add in butter, 
and the uh, south, the cream cheese, uh -huh. and then they got a little really nice and creamy with the um, Parmesan. And one thing I tell people all the time, whenever you're using herbs, especially if they're fresh herbs, make sure you put them in at the end, because what happens is they don't turn brown. The last thing I do, break them up a little, because okay. that releases the essential oils. Okay. Dump it in. Voila. And we're ready to eat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have a saying in my house. It's, I cook, you clean. But in this case, we're going to do y'all cook, so I'll serve. Would you like some bread? Um, thank you guys both so much. I cannot wait to try all of this and for all the recipes and if you want to know how to get a hold of these two, um, you can go to greatdayhouston.com. Cheers. Mm, thank you. So good. So Christina did not bring any food back, but what she did bring back was Chef Jay. Yes, Hi there. Yes. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> All right. I can't tell you uh, how many friends of mine who uh, are so afraid of cooking. They're like, I, I just can't cook. I can't cook. I'm like, if you just follow the recipe. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Recipe's a guide. If you want to add your own little stuff in, be happy to do that. But for the most part, follow the recipe and you'll be fine. And you're there. And then you'll start to understand, like, maybe I want a little more of this. That's okay. Yes, and put yes. this in and, and make Put it your, your own. own twist on it. Yeah. Yes. All right. So today, it's all the rage to be a chef. Uh, what got you interested in cooking? Uh, Cooking for me was something that came just from being a DJ because mm -hmm. we wanted to get more people to come to our parties. <laughs> so we said, hey, let's put some food out there. And no one wanted to cook it. So I ended up cooking it. And it was something that everyone said, hey, we want you to do our party. I said, what kind of music? And they said, no, we want you to do the food. Ah. So, you know, I catering from there and then just started doing weddings and other parties and then went to culinary school. So it was kind of a progression of everything. And, and I love it. Yeah. What's the biggest mistake a lot of people make when they get into the kitchen, especially around holiday time when they're trying to lay out that big spread. Not preparing. Mm. The only thing that kills a kitchen is not being prepared. If you lay everything out, it's called mise en place in the kitchen, everything in its place. Uh -huh. If you know I need this, this, that, and this, then that's all you need to do. Every time when you say, oh, I gotta run to do this or run to do that, then you kind of take away from that flow. Yeah. And as long as you have that flow and everything in its place, things you'll go be smoothly. Fine. Oh, 100%. Yeah. All right. You go back uh, probably about 10, 15 years and you say to kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? And yes. they had all these different things they wanted to be. Uh, you didn't hear very many say chef. Today, no. you hear a lot of them say, I want to be a chef. Yes. Uh, and it looks sexy on TV. We think it looks really cool. And if it's all about the food, you think it's really cool. Uh, explain like what that's about because it's not just preparing your meal and a lot of it depends on where you're doing it also. It 100% does. I mean, you know, the, the whole chef industry is, and I love it because everyone really loves a sh loves the chefs mm -hmm. now. Um, before it was like, oh, they just that's the cook, it right? Yeah, 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 yeah they're yeah. the cook. They don't yeah. do anything. But now it's it's something where if you can provide your guests with an experience that they're going to remember, then that is where you are going to excel. Yeah. You know, if you just want to go in and make a uh, you serve a little joy. Yes. You want to give a little piece of yourself in every single meal. And it's all about preparation. It's yeah. all about knowing what you want to do. And I tell people that are going to get into culinary industry, look around, see what you yeah. want to do, and then have fun with yeah, it. Yeah, because there's hotel resorts, there's chain restaurants, Everything. there's, you know, individual restaurants. Yes. All right, you're from Long Island. Yes, I am right? from Long Island. And I lived in Manhattan. There and you so go. oftentimes they would say, you know, this is the most diverse place in the, in the country. But yes. Houston really is, is, is the most diverse place. It so really what is. brought you here, and how do you love the food scene? here I literally I tell everybody Houston is like New York but spread out yeah you know everything we're here, not on top of each other we're not on yeah. top of each other everything is here and the food no matter what I want is right here yeah. you just have to go maybe a little bit this way or a little bit that way but you can find everything here I still say that New York is the center of the universe okay yeah okay there. enough of you <laughs> now <laughs> It's like that DNA thing we did yes, earlier. Yes, right? yes. You, you know, there's a melting pot in all of us. It's there's a the melting pot here. DNA. We got fusion and all this type of yes, stuff here. Yes. Well, welcome to Houston. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, at least you're not shoveling snow like your friends. Oh, right? yes. Right, anyway, okay. right. right. <laughs>